to get you in the right mindset, I want you to stop thinking about copper plate as a form of handwriting. Instead, think about copper plate letters as separate forms made up of certain building blocks. These are called component strokes. We'll focus on the forms first and then combine them to build the letters. Now sit up straight, put both feet on the floor, align your paper arm and nib to the guidelines. And remember to relax your arms, shake out your hands frequently throughout your practice if you get tired. And you're welcome to pause the video at any time while you practice these and come back and continue when you're ready. The first component stroke we are going to practice is the down stroke. It starts at the ascender line. You apply pressure and come down along the slant. And we want to square off the top and the bottom of these. We're looking for the downstroke to have equal width. So you want to place, press, and pull it towards you along the slant and make sure those bottoms are squared off. The upstroke is very light, starts at the baseline, and then you go upwards, as the name implies. You do not want to apply any pressure at all because the ink is going to go everywhere. Next up, we have the entrance stroke or in stroke. It starts at the baseline and curves up in a light swooping motion, hairline up to the waistline. Place and swoop, place and swoop. Next up, we have the overturn arch. That's where we get to practice the transition from the light hairline to the heavier down stroke. We start at the base, we go up towards the waistline and come around in a round curve before we start pressing down. You don't want to start pressing down until after the curve. The underturn arch is exactly the same reversed. So you start at the waistline, place, press, pull towards you, release, curve at the base, and come up in a light hairline. That one didn't look very nice. It has a, not a round bottom, so we're going to try that again. That's better. Always make sure you square up off the tops. Place, press, pull, release, curve, and up. The next form is the compound curve. It combines both the overturn and underturn arch, starting at the baseline, light up, curve, heavy down, curve, and light up again. We want the thickest part of the stroke to be in the center, and you see that all these three legs are following the slant line. That one's a bit wide, so let's try that again. That one's better. And again, we want to make sure that these forms are visually equal. The space has to be visually equal on, between the letters and inside the letters. So that is how you can control and how you can check that your form is correct. The loop starts at the waistline and then goes around up at the ascender height and comes down in a dynamic kind of downstroke where we start light and then increase the pressure. The underturned loop again is quite the opposite. We start at the waistline, place, press, pull towards us and then start releasing before you hit the descender line and loop up to meet the stem at the baseline. Do it one more time down, release, curve, and up. This is what it looks like when you run out of ink. They're called railroads, and you can usually pull down the drop of ink that is at the top or uh, dip your pen, pen into the ink again and go over the stroke one more time. And now we get to the basic shape of copper plate, and that is the oval. We've talked about it before and the characteristics, and this is how you build it. You start just to the right of the slant line, curve up, heavy down, release, and then curve over and meet the starting point. Over, heavy, release, light up. 
the oval, like I said, it's the basic shape. So you want to make sure you get it right because it is going to inform the size of your other letters as well. And you don't want it to be too skinny. And you definitely don't want it to be too round. So it's very much a Goldilocks kind of situation that with practice you will get the oval shape right. The next video we're going to start putting these together and forming letters.